In the eastern part of the Mediterranean, in the middle of the Aegean Sea, shores blessed by the gods. The sea is clear, warm, and a steady breeze tempers the scorching sun. Life was sweet on the island of Strongoli in the year 2000 BC. The islanders cultivated the land, tended their sheep, decorated their homes, and made ornate vases, dividing their time between fishing and farming. The phenomenon was of unprecedented violence, undoubtedly the greatest cataclysm in recorded history. We can piece together what happened over 3,500 years ago on this little island in the Cyclades. It all started with an incredible series of eruptions which shook the cone of the volcano at the heart of the island. The volcano spewed such quantities of magma that its reservoir emptied, turning the cone into a gigantic hollow chamber. The catastrophe reached its climax when the ceiling of the chamber collapsed. The island literally caved in upon itself, and the ocean flooded in, filling a gaping hole of some 10 kilometers in diameter. In a single terrible day and night, the island of Atlantis sank into the sea and disappeared. Who knows if it was not these deep waters which swallowed up Atlantis, of which Plato first spoke. The caldera, or cauldron-like crater, is gigantic, 60 cubic kilometers in volume. Boats can't even anchor here, for the ocean floor is 300 meters deep. Of Strongili's once round cone, only a shattered crown remains. The pumice stones found on the neighboring islands, and even far from the site of the cataclysm, gives us an idea of the intensity of the eruption. The shores of Crete were battered by a tidal wave. The sound of the volcano's explosion was heard as far off as Egypt. And the emerged arc, all that remained of the island, was covered by 60 meters of pumice. The island is an enormous mass of lava. The ground is not part of the Earth's crust, but made of a thick burning liquid which gushes from the Earth's entrails and dries like blood on a wound, darkish red and black. After the catastrophe, when Calm returned to the island, a new city was built high on the cliffs. It probably looked much like the villages still on the island, which then became known as Caliste, a name given to it by the Phoenicians, meaning the beautiful one. This figured, the island grew in mystery, grew in charm. Later, Theras would found a colony here and called the island Thera. Today, the island is also commonly known as Santorini, in other words, Saint Irene. The cataclysm which so drastically disrupted the profile of Santorini is but one episode in an eventful history that is still unfolding. In the 